Well, let me start by saying that Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fun little B-movie that knows exactly where it stands in the grand scheme of things. Directed by the duo of John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein. I do know that both Jonathan and John are avid geeks. <laughs> <laughs> this D&D film is a charming romp through a fantastical world filled with treasure, adventure, and of course, banter. This I give you now, trusting that you'll protect it with your very life. I will. Hold this. The plot centers around a group of adventurers who band together to retrieve a lost relic, with the help of a charming thief named Edgin Davis, played by Chris Pine. But things go dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. Yeah, why not use a medieval word? Afoul. Jeez. There is more that happens in the film, and for a two hour running time, there has to be really. One aspect that piqued my interest was this father daughter dynamic with our main character. Talking of main characters, Chris Pine. Yes, I did it! brings his own brand of humour to the role, channelling a bit of Ryan Reynolds as he delivers the script in his own cheeky way and banters with the rest of the cast. Chris, by the way, has the humour of all humours. And just watching him take these words and bring them to life is, um, is an experience. Definitely prefer seeing him play a bad guy instead of a hero or anti-hero. Don't know whether it's his eyes, but they're definitely made for evil characters actually pretty good in Don't Worry Darling, which I review and is up there if you want to go check it out. Why not? Speaking of the rest of the cast though, they're all great as well. Michelle Rodriguez. <laughs> known for a tough gal roles in Fast and the Furious franchise, she plays brooding Holgate Kilgore with a quiet intensity that speaks volumes. This woman knows how to brawl. From girl fight to D&D, she loves sparking people out. Hugh Grant was solid in this film and was actually really entertaining when he got a little bit of airtime. But that's due to his OCD personality in the film, which has been added for cheap thrills. He also gets a really big laugh at the end. My name is Forge Fitzwilliam. Yeah, I'm a slightly sort of smooth, phony, cravatted, pseudo upper class con man. But his character is kind of similar to Paddington 2 and at points some of the Cloud Atlas characters. Working with Hugh Grant was really an honor. He's he's so great. He really knows how to bring a lot to the scene. It was He, he play, also plays a really good villain. Never put your trust in a con man. And Justice Smith, who seems to be in everything these days. He stars in an Apple Plus film, Sharper, the Amazon Prime film, The Voyeurs. And he's also in Netflix, uh, probably for a limited time only, with Pokemon, Detective Pikachu. There's a Bradley Cooper cameo that was very funny but also quite sweet. My favourite Bradley Cooper cameo is still My Little Life. Yeah, Travis. Yeah. Reggie Jean Page. Hold on, that's not his... Hold on, how do you pronounce that? Reggie Jean Page. <laughs> okay, so uh, Reggie Jean Page features in the film for the best part of 20 minutes. Sophia Lilly. Sophia Lillis. Yeah! From the It films, she's also in the Band of Misfits. She's actually pretty good in the film. Special effects are impressive for a film of this size. What really makes the movie stand out is its sense of humour. There are plenty of laughs to be had throughout the film. The directors haven't forgotten what worked in their 2018 surprise hit Game Night. There's a great set piece here where they're talking to the dead, which has some proper special moments, especially when you find out how characters meet their demise. Okay, Simon, how does this work? All right, once the dead man is revived, we can ask him five questions, at which point he will die again, never to be re-revived. Why five, five questions? I don't know, that's just how it works. It seems arbitrary. Get out of this man. First time we get to meet Sophia Lilly's character, Doric, is a quality spectacle. I really like the fight with Reggie Jean Page in the Dragon's Lair. I didn't know that Reggie could saw fight as well. It was impressive work. I love the portal stuff, the obscure looking animals. A giant brain that consumes other brains, like some kind of awful brain cannibal. The higher the intelligence of the prey, the more likely they are to strike. <laughs> it's 
Oh, that's a little hurtful. The treasure chest that can eat you, I am sure that's straight out of D&D. That is like an Easter egg for the fans. Or mimics monsters that can pose as anything. Like, there's a lot to enjoy here. And considering I'm not a fantasy film person, for me, this was one of the better movies. Obviously, Lord of the Rings is probably first. But the best part for me was the hologram glitching and then melting. Proper laugh out moment that was. Brilliant idea. Honor Among Thieves may not be the most groundbreaking movie you'll see this year. I will admit that the plot is a bit predictable and formulaic, following the tried and true band of misfits on a mission formula that we've seen so many times before. But honestly, that's part of the charm of this movie. It's not trying to reinvent the wheel or be anything more than a fun, entertaining adventure flick. And on that level, it succeeds admirably. But it's a solid entry into the fantasy adventure genre with a likeable cast, great humor, plenty of action, and a whole lot of heart and for fans of the game or genre don't discredit it before you've watched it i think you'll be pleasantly surprised but i couldn't be more pumped i could because this has been such a long road for us and we're so proud of this movie and to be able to finally show it to people who are fans and non-fans alike and get the reception that we've been getting so far it's it's exactly what we had been hoping for it's weird on like twitter when nobody has anything negative to say <laughs> that's a really strange thing were you killed in the Battle of the Everhorse? Yes. Great. I mean, you know, uh, not for you. I'm sorry for your loss. Four more questions, right? Yes. No, 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 that, that wasn't for you. Did that count as a question? Yes. Damn it. Only answer when I talk to you, OK? Yes. Why did you say OK at the end of that? I didn't. Fantastic. Where's the shovel? 